Why I feel it's so important for y'all to buy this CD because this might be my last CD. You heard me? Because like, I feel like that rap music has been turned into the lane for violence and gun violence. And I really don't support guns and gun violence at all. You heard me? I support the struggle. You heard me? And they go hand in hand. So it's like I'm kind of stuck in between. So I need y'all to just support and cop the CD. You heard me? So I can at least feel like it's about music with me. It's about my talent because I'm not trying to, you know, force no music on you because y'all really just listen to the music that y'all afraid of. Y'all don't listen to good music. Y'all listen to siege music. That's what I call it. You know, the music that, that fuels hate, that fuels, you know, beef. That's the type of music that y'all listen to. And, you know, like, if I put out that kind of music, then it's like I'm, 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 I'm hurting myself because deep down inside, I know that that's not what I want to do. But that's the only kind of music y'all willing to pay for. So, you know, you might hear you might hear a list, something like that on a song or two here. But it's basically not about that. But anyway, like I say, I have a serious situation going on in my city. And I can't help but address it. Because once it get to, you know, one-year-old children, you know, it's kind of hard to wake up and watch the news and see that going on every morning every morning and it don't stop it only get worse you know guns gun violence and the guns don't kill nobody by themselves so you can't blame the guns so keep that in mind now one thing i realize is when i said make uptown real again you heard me rule was well, step one was i want to say respect the elders and step two was protect our children and like I wonder, did, did y'all share that message? I wonder, did those people see that message? Because that's clearly a case of what I was referring to. And I remember when I made a post about Glossner, Mississippi, and people flashing guns and, and dropping locations and stuff like that. Like, that's all you hear. That, that's what it's all about. Like, And I'm like, man, I addressed that. And why, like, what, what they slipping, what they sleeping? Like, I'm, I'm, these is the things that I'm bringing to my platform because that's all I have. So I try to bring reality and I try to bring, you know, wisdom and, you know, a little condolence and, you know, but it's like it gets slept on because the situation keep escalating and I don't want to feel like, you know, they not listening at me because they listening at my raps. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 hard to deal with that. So you know, like I say, it's that's real important. Why y'all need to go download this, buy it. You heard me? Download this because like that's what's gonna make out the mud be here tomorrow. Because other than that, I put this down. And go fight the fight with the struggle in the hood, in the community. You heard me? Because some of them are listening to me. You heard me? Some of them know I've been through it. Because I always kept it real with them. Like, I want your child to live just as well as you want your child to live. I want your father to live just as well as you want your father to live. I want people to be around as long as they can be around. You heard me? Like, I don't, I don't want none of this to come off the wrong way but i'm just saying bro like i know that i really be trying to touch these people in these places and prevent a lot of this stuff from happening but if y'all not gonna help me get the word to them or get the message to them just steal the message act like you made it up just give it to them just make sure they understand that you know like it's not, it's, it's a code of conduct. It's not going how it's supposed to go. You heard me like, when you, if, if you see somebody got a gun 
and they not a security guard or a cop doing a job, then you know, like either you they need to remove themselves or they gun. Oh, you need to just go on about your business. Don't wait on nothing to escalate. Don't even wait. You know, because you 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 it, it, that's how it 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 sparks. You know, it's it, it's like a match full of gas and bitterness and hate, and it just spark boom. And just like I said, if you drop a location and somebody know you got a gun, and I heard on the news when people said they took guns off them people or whatever, but I know they said they took a gun off one of them. It's, now, I heard this on the news this morning. That's why I'm here, because of the news this morning. But they said they took a gun off them. And I'm saying to myself, I remember me saying, if... Somebody know you got a gun. And they come, they not finna come playing. Nah, we got to deal with the fact of a one-year-old girl getting killed. Bro. Because they didn't come playing. Like, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, uh. A psychic or Nostradamus or nothing like that. But this is the same stuff that I be saying, bro. Like, it, it gets touching. So, I mean, peep the science. Pass the knowledge. Pull a coat. You're a general, be a general. You're a lieutenant, be a lieutenant. Don't just let your soldiers run reckless. No, man. Black, I say, bro. I got talent, but I also got a heart. I got love. I'm a struggle disciple. I represent the struggle. You heard me. I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm God fearing. That's it. But other than that, it's your boy Big Head the Dome Doc. I'm just a regular person breathing, just like you. So you know what we gonna do. I don't know, but we got to do something. Bet.